everybody. Hi, it's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. I hope you guys are well. We just got back from the coast. Today is Sunday, January 17th. And I wanted to just pop in and say hi. I had some things come in the mail and uh, been working on some stuff and just kind of want to bring you guys up to date because, you know, I know you got nothing to do but sit around and wait for me to tell you what I'm working on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wanted to let uh, Clara thank you for your nice note that is so appreciated she mentioned that she can never tell when my videos are coming on and if you want to know and be notified right away when my videos are coming on right below here there is a box that says subscribe and then there's a little bell and if you hit subscribe and hit the bell you will get a notification when my videos have been released now I generally do not do live videos my videos are usually pre-recorded and edited and uh, that way if you ever feel like maybe you missed one or you know don't I just don't want you to feel like you have to catch up because you can always go back and look at it and they will all be on there and I try to you know, like if I'm doing a series of a sew along or something, I'll title them all the same. So if in the if in the YouTube search bar you search power tools with thread, dachshund tote bag, all of them will come up type thing. So I hope that's clear. But Clara, thank you for your note. You're so sweet. I love it when you guys write to me. Okay, so when I was making the dachshund tote bag, that turned out so cute you guys I used it this weekend I took everything down uh, we're having a so long starting tomorrow for <clears throat> sweet peas uh, cross and Easter lily wall hanging and I took everything down there for that and it was too cold to be out on the boat so it was perfect for uh, staying inside and sewing which I love and I got all three pieces made and I shot the video for it. I've got to edit it, get it out, and uh, have it ready to go tomorrow. So here's the first part, <clears throat> and second part, second panel. Hold it up just like this, and then the third panel. So, you guys know what this fabric is? Any idea? Look familiar? It's a dream big panel. <laughs> I could not find any fabric in here that I liked to make that. And I was just, you know, I'm standing over there just, hmm, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And and I looked for inspiration on the Sweet Pea site. They have about a dozen of them that have, they've got pictures of on their sidebar that you can look at and get ideas and inspiration. And uh, somebody had done one in pastels, and I was like, well, that is so pretty. But I didn't have any pastel fabric or I didn't have enough of it to make it and so I was just standing there and then there's this dream big panel all wrapped in plastic and it was listen and I was like I'm never gonna quilt that I know I'm never gonna quilt that I didn't I don't know even know why I bought it I had no desire to hang it in my room or anything I mean they're beautiful panels but meh so I I had it and I thought well look at that it's gorgeous and it gives that um, that variegated coloring that I like. I had a blast with this. It was a lot of fun. So again, it is the second one that I've made. I did this one a couple years ago. So really like it, really like it. Okay, what else? So when I was making the tote bag, I started with that. I, I needed some, um, in, in here, they used batting in the panels, and then I put fusible fleece behind the border, uh, the border things. And I, I ran out, and so I ordered some online, and I it was filled by overstock. Oh, maybe it is Pellon. Wait. It is Pellon. 987F. I thought it was thinner than what I had used, but no, it is. It's a whole bolt. See, there's the Pellon label right in there. Well, that's good. I thought it was a knockoff. No, 
That's good. It, it, that's not like me not to order uh, quality because I don't want to order junk. I got in more rolls of the tape. I did the video for the end-to-end -end quilting designs for Designs by Juju and how to do that. You know that video's got over 20,000 views already. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's awesome. And I had showed on there you want to tape down your top and batting to your backing to prevent the embroidery foot from getting caught up under there. And so I ordered some more of that. I have, it's the, uh, I ordered two packages of the Tearaway from OESD Tearaway Tape and two packages of the Wash Away Tape. This is great stuff, you guys. It's great. And the Wash Away is nice, especially, so if you have like heavy quilting, you would want the Wash Away because it'll be difficult to get that tape out of the stitching over on the edges. Whereas if it's, if you've got loose quilting, the tear away, you can kind of get it out of those uh, open spots between your stitches. So I was all very excited. I was telling you guys I was working on a super, super secret project. And that's what that was, was working with uh, Julie from Designs by Juju to create the how-to video. She and I have kind of formed a partnership in that, in that way that my video is included in every one of the, when you pull up a design on her site for the end-to-end -end quilting, she's linking to the video or it is embedded on the page. And then in the download that you get when you purchase a design, there's also the URL that the link is embedded in that, in that PDF file of instructions. She doesn't give you step-by-step -step instructions how to do this. She points you to my video. So that is just huge for my channel. And um, it's, it's been fabulous. And I tell you, she is awesome to work with. I love her designs and I love her customer service. And so I am just absolutely thrilled to be working with Julie from Designs by Juju uh, to, to have that. That's, that's good for me. It's good for you. It's good for everybody all the way around. And my husband is making racket in the kitchen now. I can hear him. <laughs> so... Uh, but but that's that's big uh, to be able to do that and uh, I love making videos for you guys to show you how to do those in the hoop projects and stuff and it's a lot of fun. I'm sure some of you are going. What does your shirt say? <laughs> Here it says if if you walked a if you walk a mile in my shoes, you'll end up in a fabric store. <laughs> okay, so uh, also. Valentine's Day is coming. Do you guys have red and white fabric to make quilts? I got in this 16 fat quarter bundle from Sandy Gervais. It's, uh, it's by Sandy Gervais for Riley Blake Designs. And I got it at the fat quarter shop. I will link to this below. This is the cutest stuff. I need to open it up so you guys can see. It is just gorgeous. It's little love notes and stuff. I'm going to open up this one end so you guys can take a look at it. Look at the little typewriter. And it says, um, it says, there was a saying on here. So there's lots of, I'm in love. And, <clears throat> oh, hello, my love, with a little telephone. So they are directional. Okay, you're going to have directional uh, fabrics. There's a stripe. And this is kind of a cream, you guys. It's not a white. It's a cream. And it's just gorgeous. It's soft. Very, very pretty. This is adorable. I'm going to have to find a Villa Rosa Designs pattern to make with this. Because I don't have a red and white quilt. And I want to do that. Isn't this just pretty? Gorgeous stuff. I love it. Let me see here. So it's kind of a repeat of all the patterns. They've got it red on cream and then cream on red. Okay. Lovely, lovely stuff. Very happy to get it in. I saw it on the internet and I was like, oh, I got to have that. <laughs> so 16 fat quarters, just gorgeous stuff. I need to do something uh, for Valentine's Day. I don't have, oh, and you can see, I think I showed in a previous video, I've got my sewing machines done. That's for Lori Holt's uh, Sew by Row. So now the uh, pin cushions are done, the scissors are done, the sewing machines are done. And in my last video, I had mentioned about, y'all, 
I have a lot of new subscribers and um, I'm, I'm a bit of, I'm a quilter and a machine embroiderer. I do not do hand embroidery at all. It's not my thing. I'm terrible at it. I'm terrible at it. I've tried. Maybe I can do cross stitch, but after about the fourth stitch, I'm bored <laughs> to death. I can't even think. And so it's just not my thing, you guys. And I admire those of you that can do that. I even watch Floss Tube and, you know, <clears throat> and Stitch Roadies and because uh, I just love Anna. But I, I can't. I just can't. So in the... In the book, so one of the rows is irons, and then the sewing machines, they have a needle that comes down, you know, obviously. Well, in the book, it has the pattern. The, these are the embroidery guides for making the cord from the iron to the plug. These are little pins on the top of the pin cushions, and then there's the needle for the sewing machine. Well, so I made a copy of this. And then I scanned it into the Luminaire, the Brother Luminaire sew machine, and was able to actually create an embroidery pattern for these and saved it into the machine. It was awesome. I haven't stitched them out yet. I was just playing with the ability because I know that it could do that. It has limited digitizing ability, and I was just thrilled to be able to do that. I mean, it's going to be nice that that. You know, if I could hand stitch, but uh, not me, not me. In another video, I had shown you guys the blues I had gotten from Villa Rosa Designs. These were all the all the ja all that jazz, and uh, uh, oh, jazz, jazz it up a little, and the blues by Janet Clare, and they kind of go together. These fabrics do. I showed you guys these. I got so excited because I got you know, two sets of this stuff. I just love it. And then I got it. I had to think and I'm like, I don't have any coordinating fabric to make a quilt. <laughs> so I ordered some more and I got, I, it's, it's, uh, the blues, it's this pattern. It's hard to see. So it's got little eighth notes on it and 16th notes and whatnot. And I got the same thing. It's white on the beige. So there's my coordinating fabric to put all this together. And it's just kind of hard to see. I'll hold it real still. And then also this other piece here that has all these sh uh, sharps on it. Okay. I got cream with all the sharps on it. It's got two different colors of blue for the sharps. And uh, this is my backing. So that'll be good. You know, I do that. I'll hair off and go, oh, I want that fabric. Like, I probably should have purchased a backing for this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with it, though. I, I do want to make a red and white quilt. This is just precious. Just precious. In the quilt I made, uh, Lori Holtz bringing home the Christmas tree, my backing... No, not the backing. The background fabric was uh, by, it was Blossom by Christopher Thompson. And I actually ordered more of it. It's white with red. So I did get a couple more yards of this. This kind of fabric is just fabulous for you never know. You know what I mean? It's like, I need a background. So I got it in red and I got it in green. And... I wanted it in Peacock as well, and um, I got it from Fabric.com. They said they had it on their website, and, you know, I ordered it. And then a couple days later, I got an email that said, oh, no, nope, sorry, don't have it. Ugh. A lot of you, of course, are embroiderers that are here, and you are, I'm seeing chatter on the Facebook group that um, you've never made a quilt and you want to make a quilt and you're afraid and, and you don't know what to do and whatnot, I would recommend that you get a pattern from Villa Rosa Designs. They're just $2, these little cards, and they are very, very simple quilts. Pick one that doesn't have any diagonal seams. So you can find them. Villa Rosa Designs has an app. It's V-I-L-L-A Rosa Designs. They have an app. For the iPhone and the Android, you can download their app, and then you can sort the patterns. Like, say you have 
a fat quarter bundle, or maybe you have a jelly roll, which is the two and a half inch strips, or maybe you have a layer cake, which is the 10 inch squares. So you can sort the patterns by those types of fabrics and then you can pick the one that you want. And there are so many out there, they're just beautiful. They're very simple. And pick one that doesn't have any diagonals in it. Pick one that's all got straight. And uh, that's a real good one to start with. I mean, there's tons of them out there, but uh, pick one that, that doesn't have a diagonal. Oh! My last video I put out was the in brilliance showing how to put two end to end patterns together of designs by Juju's. There was a lot of questions about how to keep the patterns aligned on a larger project. And I worked on that and I want to show you guys real quick. I've, I've got the baby quilt in the works here. Okay. And I wanted to show you guys. So the way I keep track of alignment on these things, let me get down here. So when I do my first pass of the template paper, this is that print and stick target paper. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. When I do the first pass, I hope this makes sense. So I find, I start in the middle of the, of the project. You want to start in the middle, okay? So here's the, this is the center seam of the quilt. And what I do is I center the crosshairs that come out on the print and stick target paper. I center them on the center seam and start it just off the fabric out here. Okay. So I'll, I'll put, take this template and I'll put it on the center seam and then repeat that all the way across. So when you when you start it on a center seam instead of in the middle of a block, it just makes it look more random and it's more pleasing in my opinion. Now the next pass, once I get done with that, the next pass, of course I'll uh, nudge it up as close as I want to make sure that it's and you know I can see the stitching. I know that it's not going to you know, crowd up into the stitching up above it. All right. Now what I do. Okay. So to start the next row, now that I know I have it nested like I want it to be, what I did was you find another point of reference to measure from. And in my case right here, this is the next seam line on this quilt. So I measured down from the seam line to the bottom of the template and it came out to one and seven eighths and I made a little mark with my friction pen one and seven eighths all the way across and now I'm going to go ahead and run my painter's tape all the way across the quilt lining it up with the little marks that I made these will iron off so this way I know it is straight now I'm going to take my embroidery floss and I'm going to make very wide stitches, very long stitches all the way across this. And that is going to be, I'm doing it at the very top of the painter's tape. And that is, it's just a long running stitch. And this is going to be where I line up the bottom of the pattern because I don't have the ability to put the crosshairs on a seam anymore. So doing this is going to give me a point of reference line as I move across the quilt, I will just make sure that I keep the bottom edge of the template even with the bottom edge of this wide running stitch. But I did want to show you guys that. It's very, very easy to do, but it's just a matter of finding an alignment spot and then using that as a, as a measurement, you know, all the way across the rest of the quilt and then creating a guideline. And like I said, the painter's tape doesn't stick uh, after, you know, after being manhandled, that comes off. Then just running that long running stitch works out perfect and keeps everything straight. And, uh, I haven't had any trouble with it at all. So, all right. I did want to let you guys know too, I got in a whole new batch of my t-shirts. So we have for your inspiration in your sewing room or retreat, if you have one, uh, power tools with thread, go sew something t-shirts. We have them in pink. They're all v-neck, they're all very soft, and they're all short sleeve. Y'all, I 
I don't have the funds to create all the shirts you guys want. <laughs> so I'm, I just stick with short sleeve and then I also have pink on, on black. This is a new batch that came in. I had some complaints that the ink was coming off on my other shirts. Those went away for the cost of shipping. I, I put a notice out on my Facebook page that I was getting rid of these shirts and they were gone, Phew, gone, just in a matter of minutes. So the, manu the manufacturer, the lady who makes my shirt, she replaced all of them. So they are back out on our power tools with thread store.com. So I have more shirts now. And then I have so many new subscribers. Y'all, before doing the video for Designs by Juju on the end-to-end -end quilting, I was picking up about 800 subscribers, maybe, maybe a thousand in a month. That's how many I was getting. Ever since that video, I picked up a, over a thousand subscribers in a week. It's crazy. And so I have a ton of new subscribers and thank you for joining me. I am so glad you're here. Uh, you are the reason I do this. I, I have a lot of fun doing this, talking to you guys. So and I love visiting with you. But I wanted to let you know, here's a shameless plug. I will also link a video right here up above of my husband making these. A lot of you know already, we sold out of them at Christmas. But my husband makes these custom seam rippers and stilettos, uh, combos that, that he does. They are just absolutely wonderful. Here's a gorgeous purple one. He's out in the shop right now making more pink. But here's a gorgeous purple one. And they have a stiletto on one end. They're acrylic. Okay, and they have a seam ripper on the other end and you just pop them in like this and then they are so nice. They have a nice, if you have arthritic fingers, that they're just wonderful because they feel so good in your hand. And the, this is a, a surgical stainless steel blade and it is sharp. It goes through thread like butter. It is just, they're, it's wonderful. These are wonderful and people write to us and tell us how wonderful these things are. If you have maybe a guild member, a president who's uh, leaving, or you want to treat yourself, or you have a quilty friend or embroidery friend that you would like to, they got a birthday coming, please keep this in mind. You will not be sorry. These are just wonderful, wonderful tools. And he's got a couple that are necklaces too. And those are really nice as well. But somebody had asked if uh, we could get aqua it for a color and he's looking in the catalog for that. So they come as a block like this. And so whatever, whatever the catalog has is what the colors that he gets. And um, some of the colors are kind of hard to work with and whatnot, but he absolutely loves it. And I'll tell you what, guys, I love that he's busy. You know, after you retire, it's, you just, especially the men, you know, they sit around and watch TV all day. <laughs> he does too. And I tell him, get out and go do something. <laughs> so it's really nice that you guys are keeping him busy. But I think that's all I had to talk to you guys about. I <clears throat> Not COVID, it's Texas. The, the cedar, the mountain cedar down here has been so bad. And we had left town to go to the coast. And as we were coming back in, I started feeling it. And I said, like, oh boy, the, the allergies. Oh, it's been miserable at this time of year. So... We have friends who leave. They leave every end of November, like right after Thanksgiving, and they don't come back until April. They just stay away because the allergies are horrendous down here. I have rattled on way too long, so I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Please join me tomorrow when we sew the cross and Easter lily design, and I will talk to you soon. Go sew something. Bye.